Hello Cancer, welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. I appreciate all the new subscribers, all my long-term subscribers. Thank you so much for all the comments. I upload two videos every day at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you subscribe and you hit the bell icon, that means your phone will be wherever you are at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you subscribe and don't hit the bell icon, then you'll be subscribed and your phone won't beep, but it'll tell you I upload videos. So welcome cross watchers. Cross watchers are people who come view their loved ones or friends or siblings um, videos to try and gauge a situation. So feminine, feminine and masculine energy, the queen, queen, prince and princess, the knight can be vice versa as well as one side you, one side your partner. If you don't have a partner, pick a side or use both sides or apply one side to a friend or coworker or something like that. So here we go. I shuffle all the cards before I turn the camera on. The first one for you, Cancer, of the um, Earth Wisdom cards is Communication 18. So Communication talks about let me look at the symbol on there real fast. Balance. Okay. Or oh, wait. No. Growth. So yeah, it looks like you're in a growth period. So your communication is going to be growing. Um, I feel like it's going to be more spiritual when you start communicating. And you see the moon there? It's weird how it's so far away. Let me see what this says about 18. Wow, it opened right up. Oh, but it's the wrong one. It's It has different versions of uh, languages, and I couldn't read that language. So 18 talks about daffodil. Daffodil is the flower for communication, it says. And angelite promotes communication. Communication is key with other humans, perhaps, but more importantly, with your spirit guides and teachers. Practice your listening and speaking skills, both in this physical world and in the spiritual realm. There is much that you need to say and even more that you need to hear to strengthen your relationship to spirit. So, pay attention. Maybe they're going to download you with information. So, the next one for you is... 20 go with the flow so go with the flow talks about don't be fighting negative energies around you just go with the flow now is not the time for your energy to be exerted towards negative energies is basically what this card means very important card to me so please pay attention to that do not push your energy against anyone who's pushing against your energy it's just not something good it must the reason it must be saying that is because it will make you off balance too much. And there's no reason for you to be off balance. And you might think it won't make you off balance, but this is telling me it will. And you need to stay grounded so you can communicate with your spirit guides. So the next one <coughs> excuse me, is divine protection. So this is beautiful. This pretty much says that you're protected. So sometimes we have to go to, like, our thoughts go to the dark side, and maybe we kind of blame ourselves for things we've done in the past that we aren't very proud of, and this is you're protected. You can always put, come out of and repent for those sort of things that you've done. But you're protected. So go with the flow. You're getting communication from your spirit guides. You're growing somehow to be able to communicate with them. This water is very good. And this talks about um, you're protected. They're protected watching you. So very good. They're more than watching you. They're protecting you. All right, so here we go with um, the Chakra Wisdom deck. One side you, one side your partner. So the first one we have is King of Coins. Beautiful. Cancer. So this is somebody who's secure, who's able to bring the coins in, who's stable. Three of Cups is happiness within the family.
Four of Wands is marriage. This is beautiful. And then you have Ten of Wands. So Ten of Wands is this person over here ending something. So they're looking back and they're moving forward and something is ending for them. It has to do with their solar plexus chakra. So you could Google that to see what that pertains to and whatever sticks out when you read that, I guess, would give you an indication on what that might pertain to about your person, if that helps you at all. Just Google solar plexus and see what that pertains to because this person is ending some behavior with the solar plexus. They're moving on. So maybe they're raising their vibration, but I feel like they're, because they do seem happy and the dress is yellow, so maybe they're upgrading their um, vibration a little. There is a lot of love in this card. The cups are love. So five of coins of somebody feeling left out in the cold. Somebody feeling ghosted. So the next one is seven of coins. So this person over here is planning, organizing. Knight of swords is somebody coming in to communicate. They're very emotional. A lot of communication. It was weird. What was that noise? Sounded like uh, I don't know jewelry. So two of swords is somebody having um, their guards up. They're in denial. So they're either not looking or blocking or they're not paying attention. It's like nope. I'm planning. I don't see what's going on. I'm busy. So then you have the sun. Beautiful. The sun is double fold in this deck. I have the chariot in here too. So this could be travel, communication, this is happiness and being grateful for the happiness. Very emotional, the happiness that comes to you. So Eight of Coins, again, is this person planning and organizing. I feel like they're getting ready to release something out of their life. And they really don't want to release it, but... It looks like they're going to. So Seven of Swords is somebody having sneakiness around you. This is somebody, this is a full moon. We're having a full moon again on the 30th. So this is somebody being sneaky and jealous. So Five of Wands over here is gossip. So you have sneaky and jealousy over here and gossip over here. Isn't that just the strangest thing? and then nine of coins. So over here this person is now planning and organizing and saving is what it looks like. So did the sneakiness bring this on? Is that how they're being sneaky? I'm not really sure. I think that you planning and saving and this is somebody else unless you're being sneaky. Because this is good. You have a communication and then you had the swords, and then you had the saving and planning. Hmm. So communication is somehow going to cause some sort of jealousy or vindictiveness, which is going to make you have to plan something or restructure something or something of that sort. So the first one we have of the Illuminati Tarot is Princess of Wands. Princess of Wands is somebody who's very strong, very... And where did this one come out of? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think this came out here. So Princess of Wands is somebody who can be stable on her own, single. Feel free to vice versa, masculine, feminine. It could be a him. So the Hierophant is usually marriage, which we had the marriage card over here. So this could be divorce, marriage, there's keys in there, so that would tell me somebody has the key over here to something. Six of Pentacles is somebody wanting to do something right. They want to come at somebody and do it correct. It's a relationship, a good one. Seven of Pentacles is somebody either looking at how far they've came and what they've accomplished or they're looking at what they need to accomplish to get to where they don't feel successful for somebody else. Two of Cups. There's a lot of love over here on this side wanting to do love the right way. And I always feel like 
I always see like the doctor, like somebody has a really high professional career right there. It's always what I think when I see that doctor insignia is what it looks like to me. So Eight of Cups is somebody looking and they're waiting for somebody and they're looking at everything they did wrong and they're waiting, feeling really sad. So here they are waiting and planning and here they're waiting and thinking. So somebody over here is waiting, I feel, for whatever's going on over here. So Queen of Cups, this could be an apology over here. This could be, this is love. There's a lot of relationship love over here. So Ace of Pentacles. Over here, again, is stability, structure with the coins. I mean, this person is all about coins. And there's gossip and they're in denial. And they're happy. The first card was happiness and letting something go. So either they're in denial that they put a lot of focus on coins or people are telling them they're putting a lot of focus on coins. So three of wands is opportunities. Gosh, I don't remember now if this goes here or there. I think it goes over here. Three of Wands is opportunity. Somebody has opportunities around them to do go in a different direction. So this is the devil. This could be um, Capricorn placement. This could be toxic energy, addiction. So I'm going to pull the past, present, future on the situation here now, Cancer. So the past situation was regret. I know that I cannot change the past. So it was, appears when you came into the situation or relationship you had regrets about something. And you may have brought them into this relationship. So the present situation is patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. So patience is teaching you lessons. I know that's really hard, but things happen in order, and when the universe feels we're ready, they'll give it to us. Not before, not after. The future is doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. So release the doubt. Release it, release it, release it, cancer. Everything's going to be fine. So yes, that's a good card. Release the doubt. You don't need to know all the answers. Everything's going to work out for your best. That's good. So now I'm going to pull the Whispers of the Ocean. And the first one is Amble with Contentment. Wanting rather than acting is going to be most advantageous right now. So in the book it talks about the seahorse when the wind comes or the storm or they feel uneasy or ungrounded. They wrap their tail around things to feel secure. So ground yourself when things feel like they're going to get out of hand or they're not secure and just wait for it kind of makes me think of this go with the flow wrap yourself ground yourself and go with the flow when things get tough and it'll go it'll work itself it'll pass all right so one more of this one four life is better together seek assistance from your community con Connect with family, friends, and others who will support you. It can, only, it can be as simple as making a phone call. This is the pilot whale. And they go in pods of a thousand. So this says you have a lot of people around you that would more than happy help you if you needed help, whatever that card came up for. I guess saying kind of maybe that you don't like being alone. You're amble with contentment, sometimes just waiting, like here, amble with contentment, you're okay, going with the flow, waiting for things to pass, but really, you're better off when you're around a lot of people. So, Angel and Ancestor card for you is High Priestess, Harness Mystic Power, beautiful. You see the feathers in there, which is the divine. She has the black cat bast, which feel free to vice versa, the masculine feminine energy where it's concerned. This talks about having the strength um, to go forward where you know you need to 
go forward and you find the strength. You find the strength, you hold your head up and you go forward when times are hard, when you're in doubt is what this says. Beautiful. The High Priestess is really, has lived a lot of lives usually and she has a lot of information and she knows a lot of intuition and she usually keeps it to herself and the cat is always protecting her and giving her advice and she listens so the next one for you is spirit fox trust your talents in changing times wow 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 cancer so the spirit fox has the feathers again from the divine it talks about how you're adaptable how you can adapt to the winter, you can adapt to the desert, you can adapt to the city, the forest. You are so adaptable, so strong. You have a lot of happiness and sunshine in your heart. And you do project a lot of happiness out to the world. So I feel like, trust your talents. If you feel like you need to be sneaky for some reason is what I'm getting... This is saying you, you are the spirit fox. And sneaky is in, what am I getting why you would need to be sneaky? There's no reason to feel threatened or like you need to be sneaky, okay? You are safe. You're protected. And you see the feathers in him. So usually the, the fox is really like hyper because people are always after the fox. The fox is always being hunted no matter where they are. People are like chasing them off. So the fox is kind of restless is what I'm picking up. Um, restless and wanting to just feel accepted, to feel loved, to be allowed to be the high priestess basically, which feel free to vice versa, masculine and feminine where that's concerned cancer. So just both those cards apply to you. The only part that applies to somebody else is which one of these sides you would give to somebody else. But all these appear to you in the past, present, future, your situation. So High Priestess and the Spirit Fox, trust your intuition is all I can tell you. You have more intuition than you think you do. And if you don't feel like you trust your intuition, so let me put it to you this way, Cancer. If you're in a situation and you feel intuition and you don't listen to your intuition, I feel like you're going to get a second message and you will listen to the second message. And you're kind of going to be shocked at to where that second message is going to come from. Probably not at the moment, but after the fact, if that makes sense. You're going to be like, wow, that worked out really weird. You're going to say, I'm, I'm like, wow. I was going to do this, and I did that, and it worked out for the better. So pay attention to your intuition, because you have a lot of it. Just listen to it. I don't know if it's... We're all being um, raised up in ascension, which means we're all raising our vibration, I feel. Everybody is raising at different levels, so it's different for every person. Except, like, twin flames, they're pretty close to similar the same, not always, but they try to stay as close to similar the same. But I'm not positive. I'm trying to learn about that as well. All right, so thank you so much, Cancer, for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Thank you so much. Bless you, Cancer.